And welcome to tonight's game. We're here at Hawkeye for a nice Tri-County matchup between Hawkeye and Cooter. I'm Tyler Wagner along with Andy King for tonight's game. And we've got uh, two Tri-County teams, as I mentioned, yeah, gearing up for uh, tonight's game. We've got uh, the Tri-County Conference Tournament coming up soon, so they're still jockeying for position in that Tri-County Conference Tournament to be taking place in Clarkton this year. We're actually going to try to bring that live to you here on YHC. That's still developing, but uh, we'll be looking forward to that at Clarkton this year. And Hawkeye, I tell you, once they've come into their second half of the season after the Boonville Christmas Tournament, they've got some big wins, and notably against Risco here on this court just a few weeks ago, defeating the top-ranked team in the state in Class 1 and the Risco Tigers. They're playing with a lot of confidence and looking to build upon that here in the Tri-County. Cooter, Having a tough year this year, they're headed up by Brian Brantner, who's had much success, especially at Bell City over the the past few years, and he's headed up, heading up this Cooter team. So they're in a real bit rebuilding stage, but certainly want to put up a good fight here tonight against Hawkeye. So, uh, and uh, as we mentioned, Hawkeye's probably in the driver's seat for that number one seed in the Tri County Conference Tournament coming up in Clarkton. So they certainly don't want to slip up tonight against Cooter, so we'll be getting underway here in just a few moments. And the starting lineups for the Cooter Wildcats. Number three, Dustin Smith. Number three is senior Dustin Smith. Number four, Tyler McElvain. Number four, freshman Tyler McElvain. Number Number 12, a senior Chase Walker. Number 13, a junior, Jesse Raber. And number 20, a senior, Brian Black. Good to walk in, set it up by Brian Brantner. And assisted by David Mathis. For the Hawkeye Hornets. 33 is 6'3 junior Michael Glover. Number 32, 6 foot junior Jamie Massey. Number 3 is 6 1 senior Patrick Skelton. Number 13. Eight senior David McDaniel. And number 11 of 5'8 senior Aaron Reeves. And the Hawkeye Hornets headed up by Seth McBroom, assisted by Doug Dunn. And we're geared up for Tri-County Conference basketball tonight here on YHC. We're glad you joined us. Only about a month left in the season. We're coming down to the end, starting conference tournament play, so it's getting very exciting. I tell you, the season has gone by really fast. Well, it certainly does after Christmas. That team, they, they really get in their schedule, and a lot of good games so far since Christmas. Hopefully it'll finish out that way. And Hawkeye with the quick possession. Couldn't convert on the layup. Now Cooter in the half court. Steve Furry put up no good. Rebound Walker. He'll go up. Rims out. Rebound Massey. And Glover looking down to Massey. Goes in. And he's fouled on the shot. That foul will be charged to Brian Blagg. Jimmy Massey will go to the line to shoot two, and that's that's danger zone for the opponents when Jimmy Massey gets the block gets the ball right there between the blocks. He's almost unstoppable when, once he gets the ball that deep. First shot up good for Massey. And being at 6'7, you know, the tallest player is probably right at six foot or six one for the Wildcats, so you certainly gotta keep him from the basket. That's good when you have a 6'7 guy on your team to throw it inside to. Oh, yeah. And a steal by Glover. He'll go on the right side, puts it up, no good. Massey right there with a the rebound, puts it up and in. Nice second chance point. 
Massey getting it room underneath with that putback. And again, Cooter will need to do anything they can to keep Massey getting those easy opportunities. Shot up and in. That time by Brian Black puts the Wildcats on the scoreboard. And shot underneath, blocked away. Nice block. Looked like that was McElvain coming over with the block. Hawkins picking up the pressure. Nice penetration, but he'll pick up the foul. That's Chase Walker with the push foul. Turns it over to the Hornets. Aaron Reeves bringing it up for the Hornets. McDaniel, the Glover, looking for Massey. Nice play there. Massey with the two assist by Glover. Getting up there high where nobody else can reach it. Certainly, you've got to get that thing up there high. Like we said before, no one can really stand toe-to-toe -to -toe height wise with Massey, so keep it high where only he can catch it. Walker with a three, puts it up, rims out. Massey with a rebound. I'll tell you what, Cooter's had a couple of really good shots, but just can't get it to fall just yet. The shot up no good, but he's fouled. That's Glover. Foul charge two. Looks like uh, having trouble with the scoreboard here, so. Glover gets the free throw to go, completing the three-point play. Excuse me, on the three-point play, just committed the or converted the second shot. Turnover by the Wildcats. Holcomb is really trying to suffocate Cooter right now early on defense. Yeah, they're really picking up the tempo on defense, and now working it around the perimeter, throws it away. Glover couldn't handle it. And uh, that's on that time that Skelton couldn't handle the pass from Reeves. Two missed opportunities for Hawkham. And Walker trying to split the defense, taken away by McDaniel. Looks ahead to Massey, puts it up no good. And three close missed opportunities for Hawkham. Yeah, he tried to finger roll that one in there and it just didn't go. Yeah, put it up a little too hard. Meanwhile, it's a turnover by the Wildcats. Giving the possession to the Hornets. 4.33 remaining in this first quarter. with it. Steps inside, goes up to Massey, up and in. Massey did a good job getting himself in position on that score. Cross court pass, nice movement by the Wildcats, up and in for Brian Black.
Three-pointer on the left side, no good. Black with almost with a rebound. Taken away by Dustin Smith. And taken away by Skelton. He's in the lane, goes up, will not go. Massey right there with a the putback. Massey having a great quarter. He's got uh, nine points, nine of the ten points for the Hornets here in the first. Three-pointer in the corner, up, no good. And a putback up and in by Brian Blagg. He's got all six points for the Cooter Wildcats. Cooter certainly doesn't look like a team that has been struggling right here earlier on in the ball game. Well, they're getting second chance opportunities and getting easy opportunities underneath the basket. They're moving the ball well, and it seems like they're ending up with good opportunities right there, right there under the basket. Three minutes remaining here in this opening quarter. First shot, no good for Vance. Second shot, good. Michael Vane. Looks to Rayburn, deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with the Hornets. Inbound to McIlvain, gets it over to Walker. Goes to the corner, three-pointer, put up no good by Smith. Rebound by Vance. Chase Davis into the game for the Hornets, bringing it up. Massey with a fake into the paint. Out to Glover, over to Davis. And looks outside. Three-pointer put up and in by Tyler Lewis. Nice shot there by Lewis, pushes the lead up to eight. 14 to six advantage for the Hornets. 2.15 remaining in this first quarter. Deep three-pointer up, no good by McIlvain. And a nice dish off, put up no good. And scramble for the ball. And taken away, put up no good by McIlvain. Deflected out of bounds off of Glover. Possession will stay with the Wildcats. A few substitutions here. We've got McDaniel. And it looks like... Uh, Tyler Thornton into the game for the Wildcats, number one. And also Jordan Riley, number 23 for the Wildcats. Riley over to Walker. He's looking underneath, not there. Smith with it. Now he's on the drive. Scoop shot, good. Nice shot. There by, well, actually, that was Tyler McElvain with the shot. Tough shot there. Yeah, especially against as good as that zone was being played, it was a very good shot. McDaniel with a three in the corner, knocks it down. Approaching a minute left in this first quarter. And McDaniel with a steal, goes up, scores it. Under a minute remaining. And a reach in foul committed by David McDaniel. Rally inbounds. 
Three-pointer put up, no good. Rebound McDaniel, he pushes it up. Glover to Massey on the break. And he drives it home. And a nice jam by Jamie Massey. Got the crowd fired up. And a blocking foul underneath. Committed by McDaniel. And the crowd's still on its feet. Now Jamie Massey throwing it down for the Hornets. We haven't seen that all year. Jamie Massey's typically a post player that doesn't really get out on the break, so he, he ran the floor well and got that opportunity and a nice finish. He's got a little hops on it. He does. Shot put up no good. Out of bounds over to the Hornets. And this game is busting wide open now. It certainly is. Five seconds remaining in this first quarter. One last attempt put up by Reeves, and he knocks it down. And that brings it in to our first quarter. The Hawkeye Hornets on top of the Cooter Wildcats, 24 to 8. And we'll be back with your second quarter coming up. Quality Center Furniture and Appliance in downtown Malden for the best selection of Whirlpool and Maytag appliances. We also have the newest LCD, LED, and plasma high-definition televisions from LG and Itachi, as well as the finest furniture for your living room or bedroom. Quality Center is an AT&T authorized retailer. And don't forget, delivery is available. So come experience the Quality Center Furniture and Appliance Store in downtown Malden. People come from everywhere to get their deal from Lincoln Lacey. They come from Bid Bluefield, Orrin, from New Madrid, Bertrand, Campbell, Parma, Kelso, Lilburn, Portageville, Risco, Bernie. Lincoln Lacey is your domestic all these headquarters. From Rector, Arkansas, Gideon, Sykes, in Arkansas, Morehouse, Dexter, Minor, East Prairie, Charleston, Chaffee, Holland, Arkansas. Come on out to Lincoln Lacey in Malden. And we're back with you. And certainly the crowd got up for this first quarter, and they should have. They, they had a great first quarter, 24 to 8 advantage. And out of nowhere, Jamie Massey throws it down. And we haven't seen that all year, but it kind of came out of nowhere. Not, not that Jamie Massey doesn't have that ability, but he, he's one of those players that sticks between the blocks and doesn't really get out on the break to get those kind of open opportunities. And it seemed like the momentum really started with Holcomb's defense. They've been very opportunistic, and that led to some big-time points. Certainly has. And Black losing the ball out of bounds. Turning over to Holcomb. Scooter trying to apply some pressure. Skelton looks down to Massey. Digs in underneath, puts it up and in. I'll tell you what, they do a good job just moving the ball around, getting open shots. Yeah, but it's Massey. He's, he's had quite a first half. He's got, uh, let's see, 13 points here early on. You can just tell they're playing with confidence right now. Oh, yeah, they're moving the ball well, forcing turnovers, making it difficult for Cooter offensively. And a, drew, a drive that time by Walker will not go. Massey with a rebound. Davis with the ball. Works against Evans. Now Skelton with it. Looks down to Glover. And he'll be pushed underneath. Foul will be charged to Melvin Cummings, his first, team foul number five. Deep three, put up and in. That time by Chase Davis. And it seemed like just a few minutes ago, it was just a four-point ball game. Now it's like a 20-point. Yeah, they've broken open this lead early on. 21-point advantage. Cooter just struggling offensively, trying to get into a rhythm. Hawkham really applying the pressure. Three-pointer put up, no good. 
That time by Evans, rebound Massey. Gives it up to Davis, he pushes it up. Looks down to Skelton, almost thrown away, but Skelton recovers. Out to Glover, over to Davis. Skelton with it. Chase Davis over to Skelton, down to Vance, and he'll be held underneath. That's Cummings with the hold. Glover to inbound underneath. Massey with the inbound, goes underneath, scores it. Nice move there by Massey, getting space. Ball deflected, regained by Cooter. Walker with it on the right side. Evans, cross court. Riley goes up, but blocked away by Massey. And pushed, pushed up Skelton, will be fouled on the drive. And Skelton will go to the line to shoot a one and one. Uh, Hawkins in the bonus. Foul charge to a number 21. We don't have a number 21 in the book. Wasn't on the roster. Skelton's first sh shot is good. Second shot good. Ball deflected away by Davis, recovered by Reeves. Skelton with it. Underneath the Glover, goes up, scores it. And Holcomb having their way, especially in the half court set underneath. Glover and Massey piling up the points early on. The thing about Holcomb, they got three guys that are 6'3 or taller. <laughs> yeah, they certainly got the size. Massey, of course, at 6'7 is going to take up the most space, but Glover, he stands at 6'3 and Vance as well at 6'3, so they certainly got the front court with the height. And ball deflected away. Vance trying to save it, goes into the scoreboard, or a scores table, excuse me, and eventually turned over to the Hornets. <laughs> he went in hard there to the scores table, and he seems to be all right. And messed up the scoreboard, it looked like. I'll tell you what, Tyler, in the two months that I've been here, I would say that Holcomb has probably been the most complete team that I've seen as far as shooting the three-pointer, shooting in, getting inside and getting to the basket. Yeah, starting out the year, they, they dropped a few early games that they probably could have won and sh you know, could have had an opportunity to win, but they, they really weren't hitting that outside shot on a consistent basis, but they were doing well inside. But ever since, the, ever since Christmas, they've really started shooting the ball outside well, and the inside game's always been there. So they're really starting to play to their potential here in the second half of the season, and they're going to be a tough team to beat, especially in Tri-County and going into their district in class two. Very, a very complete team here in the second half from Hawkins. Uh, they could definitely give some teams a lot of trouble. They sure can. And trying to get the scoreboard reset now. Looks like we're about underway. 4.13 remaining here in the first half. Trying to get the fouls. Fouls up. Hey, hey, hey. 
And Reeves picking up for Hawkins. Over to Lewis. Skelton on the left side, swing pass. Reeves with a three and he knocks it down. Nice shot. And Hawkins. I'm not sure they missed a three from the outside in this game. They've really shot the ball well. It's three three-pointers in the first half. McElvain loses it. Hawkins on the break. Skelton with the finish. And we've got a timeout on the floor. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. If you have the audacity to believe a financial advisor should talk with you, not at you. If you have the nerve to believe meeting eye to eye helps you see eye to eye. If you believe access to your financial advisor should be a right, not a privilege. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. And we're back with you. 3.20 remaining in this first half. Cooter at, out, or excuse me, Hawkeye out to a commanding lead, 40 to 8. Shot put up, no good. Three-pointer put up by McElvain, no good. Scramble for the ball. Take it away, uh, rebounded by Skelton, but taken away by Black. McElvain on the drive, goes up, scores it. And McElvain, Tyler McElvain for two, he's got four here in the game. That was Cooter's first points in a while. Yeah, they, they've been on a drought here offensively. And now turned over. Massey couldn't handle the pass. Turns it over to the Wildcats. 2.36 remaining. Dustin Smith out to McElvain. Raven over to Riley. Now down to McElvain. He can't get it to go. Rebound, Glover. Davis will bring it up. Works against McElvain. McElvain charged with the reach-in foul. That'll be his first, 18 foul for the Wildcats. That'll send Davis to the line to shoot a one-on-one. First shot up, no good. Davis couldn't get it to fall. Smith with it. Riley to McElvain. Raven to McElvain. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Brantner's going to want to talk it over with his team. We've got, a, we've got a 30 second timeout. We'll be right back. First Midwest Bank Gold Club offers special privileges for our friends who are aged 50 or better and have combined deposits of $5,000. Members enjoy trips, cruises, seminars, and picnics along with free personalized bank services. Upcoming trips include Journey Through the Holy Land, Yellowstone in Winter, Classic Ireland, and Hawaiian Paradise Cruise. Stop by any First Midwest Bank location to sign up for the Gold Club. It's absolutely free. First Midwest Bank, providing common sense financial solutions every day. And getting back to action here, 137 remaining in this first half. 40-10 advantage for the Hornets. 
Coach Brantner want to talk it all, talk it over with his Gooder Wildcat team. Look a little, a little out of plugs offensively. Smith with a three on the right side, rims out. Almost went down, but he had, a, he had a good look. Oh yeah, nice offensive set, just wouldn't fall. And now underneath, that's Aaron Sykes with two for the Hornets. McIlvain with the three, no good. Rebound Sykes. Shot put up and no good by Cameron Clark. Clark, the six foot senior, he'll go to the line to shoot two. Under a minute remaining in this first half. Foul charge to Jesse Rayburn. First shot up is good for Clark. And Melvin Cummings back in the game for the Wildcats. Second shot on the way, and it's good. McIlvain guarded closely by Davis. Is up to Smith. Cummings. Down to Thornton, he couldn't get it to go. Tyler Thornton. Tough shot underneath. Now 20 seconds remaining in this first half. Now down to 10. Davis with a drive, gives it up to Glover, puts it up and in. Deep three by McElvain, no good. That brings it in to our first half. Welcome Hornets on top of the Cooter Wildcats after one half of play. 46 to 10, we'll be back with your halftime stats and discussion. Coming up next. We know you have many choices in automobile dealerships, but at Glen Sane, our customers are special. We want you to understand that we're always working very hard to please our customers. We have a great selection to choose from, and with the 0% and the rebates and our prices at Glen Sane, it's a great time to buy. I'm Danny Ford, owner of Glen Sane. We want you to come see us, and God bless our troops. Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Swinger, and I'm so pleased that YHCTV will be carrying so many sporting events this year, both boys and girls. These events help with leadership, uh, personality development, and I would like to wish all of our students and all of our schools a safe and successful year. At Allen, Christian, and Dexter, you'll like the way we do business for many reasons. We make the buying experience simple with a large selection of Buicks and GMCs to choose from. We offer quality pre-owned vehicles priced to fit any budget. No gimmicks, guaranteed. Shop us any day, any time here in Dexter or online at allenchristian.com. We service what we sell with one of the most experienced service departments in the Heartland area. Selection, price, experience, family owned for over 53 years. Allen, Christian, Buick, GMC, Dexter. Stop paying too much for your home phone service and switch to New Wave Telephone with unlimited local and long distance. Plus, free call waiting, caller ID, and voicemail for one low price. This is a limited time offer, so call New Wave today. The Sports Roundtable represents one of our great traditions here in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas, and that's high school athletics. And nobody promotes it better than us here at YHC. What's new with the Roundtable this year, we're looking to add representatives from our local colleges, Southeast Missouri State, Arkansas State, and Three Rivers, 
to give us the inside scoop on local college athletics in our area. The roundtable was designed to give local viewers in-depth analysis about teams and sports in our area, and we're geared up to go once again every Saturday morning, live at 10 a.m. And welcome to halftime of tonight's game. Cooter versus Holcomb, 46 to 10 advantage for Holcomb here at halftime. And we'll go over the scoring quickly, led by Jamie Massey with 15, followed by Michael Glover and David McDaniel with five, Patrick Skelt with four, Chase Davis, Aaron Reeves, Tyler Lewis with three, Aaron Sykes with two, and James Vance with one for the Cooter Wildcats led by Brian Blagg with six and Tyler McElvain with four. And that brings you to our halftime score, 46 to 10 here at halftime. And we'd like to, I'd like to take just this opportunity to uh, promote our sponsors for this year for our sports season. Of course, our major sponsors that's been with us through from football all the way through basketball, uh, Allen Christian, Buick GMC, and Dexter, great dealership there. And Dexter for Buick and GMC. Also, First Midwest Bank in Dexter, a great service bank in Dexter, many branches throughout here in southeast Missouri. Uh, Lincoln Lacey Motors in Malden, now known as uh, Harry Blackwell Motors. Harry Blackwell taking over ownership there, so we appreciate them. Also, we have Representative Dr. Terry Swinger. Uh, Terry Swinger sponsoring major sports this year. We appreciate his efforts and what he does in the legislature and for uh, just in just in general, what he what he brings to the area, not only as a legislator, but also as a man. He's a great guy to be around, Terry Swinger. And also we have uh, Glenn Sane and Rector Paragould and Kenneth. They're in southeast Missouri, northeast Arkansas. Great dealership as well here in southeast Missouri, northeast Arkansas. Appreciate uh, those guys out there and gals at Glenn Sane. And also we have... Uh, we have Charlie Flanagan sponsoring basketball this year. Edward Jones, agent there in Dexter. He's great, and we appreciate his efforts sponsoring this year's uh, basketball season as well. And, of course, New Wave Communications. Uh, enough can be said about what they provide for us here at YHC, giving us the capability of doing all these high school basketball games, especially live in our area in southeast Missouri, northeast Arkansas. Appreciate them and all of our sponsors bringing YHC basketball and football here on YHC. We appreciate all of their efforts, and we try to promote them as much as we can here on YHC. And now we're about to get set for the third quarter here, 46 to 10, getting set for the third quarter play here from Hawkeye. Starting up second half with the ball. McDaniel on the right side. He'll drive it. And he is called with a travel, turns it over to the Wildcats. Alternate possession going to Cooter. Tell you what, Massey's got so much length, it's hard to get it inside around him. Oh, yeah, he's and the thing with Massey is he never he's never in foul trouble. I don't think we've done a game or been at a game where Hawkins been in or Massey's been in foul trouble. He just takes he, he's so disciplined on defense, he's, he doesn't hack and slap and try to block every shot he, he contests every shot and that's what you're supposed to do contest a shot if you don't block it alter it 
And that's what he does so well. And he stays on the floor. That's one thing about big guys. You want them on the floor. And anytime they get in foul trouble, it, you know, it's a detriment to your team. But he's always on the floor. And that's what makes Hawkham that much more competitive. And meanwhile, Hawkham turns it over. McIlvain on the drive. And he'll be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul charge two. Aaron Sykes. First shot up, no good. Second shot is good. It's going to be interesting to see here in the second half if Cooter can get back in a rhythm offensively. Yeah, they struggled offensively. That's due to a lot of part, large part, Hawkins' defense, and Hawkins going to stay after it to seal this game early on in the second half, but Cooters still need to stay aggressive. Hawkins' defense really made Cooter uncomfortable offensively in the first half. Follow jump shot, no good. Skelton with a rebound. Massey underneath goes up, and he'll be fouled before the shot. And the foul will be charged to Brian Blagg, his second. Reeves to inbound. Gets it into Skelton. Looking underneath to Massey. Gets possession. Up no good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up and in. Got 17 in the game with that bucket. Walker up to Smith. And McIlvain tries to go up, blocked away by Aaron Reeves. He's on the break, gives it up to Skelton. Now to McDaniel, he puts it up, no good. McIlvain with a rebound. Smith with it in the left corner, works against Sykes. He loses it, McDaniel with a steal. And Aaron Reeves will be fouled by Dustin Smith. That'll be his first. 5-12 remaining in this third quarter. And thrown away. That's Walker with the steal. Deep three by McIlvain, he knocks it down. And the freshman surely can show the ability to shoot the three. He's got eight in the game. That was a huge three right there. He stepped right into it. Now Skelton with a three of his own, knocks it down. But Holcomb has not missed tonight. Yeah, they shot the ball very well from the outside. And if they shoot the ball like that all year long, they're certainly going to be a tough team come district time. They've really... They've really stepped it up from the, from the perimeter here in the second half of the season. And a blocking foul, a legal block out front charge to Brian Blagg. That's his third. Aaron Reeves brings it up for the Hornets. Pressured out front. Gives that to McDaniel. And a kick ball by Cooter. The Hornets will retain possession. Three-pointer in the corner. Put up and good. That time by Aaron Reeves. He's got six in the game, two three-pointers for Aaron Reeves. And 
substitutions for the Hornets. We have Chase Davis, Michael Glover, James Vance into the game. 357 remaining in this third quarter. Daniel looks to Glover, goes up, blocked away by Cummings. Melvin Cummings with a block. Hawkins will retain possession, 3.33 remaining. Glover can't get it to go underneath, and a tie-up. Looks like it'll stay with the Hornets. Nice thing about having a big lead, you can, af you can afford to miss those little gimmies underneath. And Lewis with the ball, gives it out to Davis. He'll drive it, take it to McDaniel for three in the corner, and he knocks it down. Wow. That's all you can say. Yeah, they've shot the ball very well from the outside. Coach McBroom certainly pleased with the effort from the perimeter tonight. What are they shooting, like 70% now? Uh, they've got, uh, I know they're shooting more than 70% from three-point land. I, I'm not sure they've missed one all night. They haven't taken a whole lot of threes, but the ones they have taken, they've knocked them down. Under three minutes remaining in this third quarter. Steal by Lewis. And a blocking foul. Charge to Tyler Thornton. That'll be his first. Team foul number four on the Wildcats. Yeah, we have Dustin Smith, Jordan Riley, and Brian Blagg back in the game for Cooter. Looked like we had a child run out to the floor. Got it back into the stands. Lewis for three, will not go. Glover right there with a the rebound, puts it up. Will not go, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And the foul's charged two. Brian Blagg, that'll be his fourth. Sends Glover to the line to shoot two. First shot up, good. Second shot, it's good. Cooter working the ball around the backcourt. McElvain with it. Smith with the ball under two minutes. Main in the third quarter. Rayburn with the drive. And he'll be fouled on the floor. Foul charge two. Chase Davis, his first. McElvain with a shot, he gets it to go. I'll tell you, McElvain's a pretty impressive little freshman. He's got 10 in the game. Now he's really been the statement player for Cooter. He certainly has. Davis over to Vance. Vance will lose out of bounds, but deflected off from Cooter. 
Hawking will retain possession, 124 remaining in this third quarter. Holcomb just does a great job of playing together, and that's a lot of the reason they've got so many good looks from three-point land. They sure have. Three-pointer put up by Lewis, and he knocks it down. They've had a lot of wide-open looks, too. Lewis with his second three-pointer. And reach-in foul. Committed by Chase Davis. That's his second. Shot put up no good by Cooter. Under a minute remaining. Long pass to Lewis. And he's fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. First shot good for Lewis. Second shot, good. Deep three, put up, good. That time by Dustin Smith. Cooter with a turnover, we're down to 10 seconds. And McElvain with a shot, it's good, and the foul. Nice finish by McElvain, he'll try to convert the three point play with eight seconds remaining. It's good to see Cooter still playing hard after being down so much at this point. And it's good. Only eight seconds remaining. And down to three, two, one. Tyler Lewis deflected away, and that brings it in to our third quarter. And Hawkeye Hornets on top of the Cooter Wildcats. 64 to 22. We'll be back with your fourth quarter coming up. Quality Center Furniture and Appliance in downtown Malden for the best selection of Whirlpool and Maytag appliances. We also have the newest LCD, LED, and plasma high-definition televisions from LG and Itachi, as well as the finest furniture for your living room or bedroom. Quality Center is an AT&T authorized retailer. And don't forget, delivery is available. So come experience the Quality Center Furniture and Appliance Store in downtown Malden. People come from everywhere to get their deal from Lincoln Lacey. They come from Bid, Bloomville, Orrin, from New Madrid, Bertrand, Campbell, Parma, Kelso, Lilburn, Portageville, Risco, Bernie. Lincoln Lacey is your domestic auto needs headquarters. From Rector, Arkansas, Gideon, Sykes, Head in Arkansas, Morehouse, Dexter, Minor, East Prairie, Charleston, Chappie, Holland, Arkansas. Come on out to Lincoln Lacey in Malden. And back to action here for your fourth quarter. Hawkeye in commanding control. 64 to 22 advantage. And the clock will run due to the mercy rule. 30 plus point advantage in the fourth quarter. Clock will continuously run. And a foul on the inbound. And that'll send James Vance to the line to shoot two. Or excuse me, one of one. Hornets are in the bonus. Yeah. 
First shot, good for Vance. Second shot, good. Shot put up at the free throw line, no good by Walker. Vance with the rebound, gives it up to Lewis. Davis with a drive, and he's tripped by Mecklevane. That'll be his second foul. That'll send Davis to the line to shoot one and one. First shot, no good. Holcomb has kind of backed off on defense now. Yeah, the game's in hand and clock's running, so certainly don't want to put your players in a position to an injury at this point, but defend the basket, make it difficult for Cooter to score on the inside, which they tried on that occasion, but committed the foul, and that'll send Jesse Rayburn to the line to shoot two. Foul charge to Tyler Lewis, his first. First shot good. Second shot good. Vance underneath, he's fouled. They'll go to the line to shoot two. First shot, good. Second shot, a little strong. And a blocking foul. Charge to Cameron Clark, that'll be his first. Chase Walker to the line to shoot two. First shot good. Second shot no good. Shot underneath, no good by Clark. Under four minutes remaining. Walker with a shot, no good. Fans with a rebound. Davis will bring it up. Tyler Lewis to James Vance. And a nice shot put up and in by Cameron Clark. McIlvain 
And a three put up and good. That time by Chase Evans. And a foul charge to Jesse Rayburn, his second. Be a 19 foul. They'll send Lewis to the line to shoot a one and one. First shot good. Second shot, no good. Vance with the rebound, and it'll be tied up. Possession with the Cooter Wildcats. Minute and a half remaining in this game. Ball deflected off of Lewis. You know, Holcomb's got a lot of their, obviously got a lot of the younger guys in right now, but they're still playing good defense. Yeah, you certainly want to play hard while you're in. You certainly, whoever's in the game, they need to play hard. You can't just take it off. But a nice block, block there by Vance. Three-pointer up no good by Smith and a foul on the second attempt. Oh yeah, you definitely want to make the most of it when you get your opportunity. Oh yeah, it's you know some players be out there at the end of the game and maybe not get a whole lot of time through the year and you can't ask those players to go out and not give it a good effort, so it is what it is. Under a minute remaining, clock still running. And the second shot will not go for Riley. McDaniel with it, 15 seconds. And turned over. Evans will bring it up, and they'll just kill the clock. And that'll do it here at Hawkham. Hawkham with a win, 70-28 over Cooter. This Trier County Conference matchup. We'll take a break and be back with your final stats and discussion. Coming up next. If you have the audacity to believe a financial advisor should talk with you, not at you. If you have the nerve to believe meeting eye to eye helps you see eye to eye. If you believe access to your financial advisor should be a right, not a privilege. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. I'm Danny Ford, owner of Glenn Sing. We realize the best advertising we have is when our customers tell them about their buying experience at Glenn Sing, with price and service. We have an outstanding service and parts department that I think you'll be very, very proud of. Every day we come to work and look forward to selling our next GMC truck and have been doing so ever since my late grandfather, Glenn Sing, started the business in 1954. We invite you to come and see us and see why so many are buying from us. And God bless our troops. 
Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Swinger, and I'm so pleased that YHCTV will be carrying so many sporting events this year, both boys and girls. These events help with leadership, uh, personality development, and I would like to wish all of our students and all of our schools a safe and successful year. At Allen Christian and Dexter, you'll like the way we do business for many reasons. We make the buying experience simple with a large selection of Buicks and GMCs to choose from. We offer quality pre-owned vehicles priced to fit any budget. No gimmicks, guaranteed. Shop us any day, anytime, here in Dexter or online at allenchristian.com. We service what we sell with one of the most experienced service departments in the Heartland area. Selection, price, experience, family owned for over 53 years. Allen Christian, Buick, GMC, Dexter. And we're back with you here at Hawkham. Final score, 70 to 28 in favor of the Hawkham Hornets and a decisive victory for the Hornets tonight. And no question, they're the better team on the floor tonight. Cooter having one of those years. They've been tough the past few years, but it's a matter, it's, a, it's only a matter of time before you hit one of those years to where your, your upperclassmen move on. You've got younger talent moving up, but uh, that just seems like one of the years for the Cooter Wildcats tonight. So we appreciate you tuning in, as always, here on YHC for YHC Sports, and we'll be bringing you many more games coming up this year. We've got a month left in the season, and we'll certainly be doing some state tournament games here in the next uh, month going into March. So very exciting time right now coming down to the end of the year, and we'll be looking forward to it, and hopefully you'll join us right here on YHC. And don't want to forget about our sponsors. I want to especially uh, thank Quality Center. Quality Center with all that they do for us here at YHC as well. And one of the sponsors for tonight's game, Quality Center at Cecil Weeks there in downtown Malden, providing a great selection of appliances, electronics, furniture, even an AT&T authorized retailer there in downtown Malden at the Quality Center. So anytime you're needing any appliances, electronics, even AT&T cell service, be sure to try give a Cecil Weeks a stop by there in downtown Malden. He's a great guy, and he'll take care of you. And also our other sponsors, Alan Christian, First Midwest Bank, and Dexter, uh, Representative Terry Swinger, also Glenn Sane, Re and Rector Paragould, and Kenneth, and also Lincoln Lacey Motors, now known as Harry Blackwell Motors, in Malden with two locations. So we appreciate all of our sponsors helping bring this year's basketball and football season going back to the fall, but certainly appreciate them bringing basketball here to all of our viewers here on YHC. And for myself, Andy King, he's with us along with us tonight. And Rick the Priest on camera. We appreciate his efforts tonight as well. And we hope you join us for another game here on YHC. And until then, have a good one.